warm weather in Dubai. How was that for you? Uh, I think everybody benefited from the, what um, opportunities you can you can take when um, when you haven't got a game because we weren't in the FA Cup anymore. So I think that uh, most clubs throughout the country will take a break at some stage. Since the turn of the new year for a few days, ours was particularly good in terms of what we wanted to try and achieve. And, and I think that um, we can hopefully reap the benefit between now and the end of the season. There's certainly players have um, have every uh, or no excuse really anymore for uh, for really not getting out there and performing or trying to perform better than they've already done, which has been pretty good since I've been here. Um, I think we've taken the club into a position where who knows where we can finish now rather than fighting against relegation, which is what it was looking like just before I came in. So great facilities. Uh, the training facility was... You know, absolutely outstanding. I thought Finch Farm was a great facility, but the, the Sheikh's private facility put this one to shame. So, uh, and we had a really, really good time together, bonding, and hopefully we'll, in the next 11 games, see the benefit of that. Everything looks better in the sunshine. It does that, yeah. I mean, it's one degree today again, and I think that when you're training in the sunshine, they, the players don't want to stop training really effectively. They just, you know, let's do a little bit more, let's do a little bit more. So, um, so yeah, it's a good... Uh, a good trip. Uh, and you talk about those other benefits of bonding. I, I read some interesting comments from um, Kent Chosen who said that it really helped him. Um, and that get to know the, the, the players and, and you ex expect to see them more on competition. Well, you've got competition because of Omar's great form and in terms of what he's achieving now. I think that um, Omar's uh, position at Everton has never really been as good as it is at the moment, you know, where he's put himself in a position to shine and score goals. I think that he's, he's got goals and assists to his name and and he started games on a regular basis and, and the competition um, with him and Dominic um, and Tosin is, is a bit fierce, which is what you want. So Omar's grasped that position at the moment, making assists, scoring goals, holding up well. So it's made it difficult for me to replace him at this moment in time. I think he's got seven goals this season, a um, couple of assists, and, and his form has been pretty good. And is that the message for the rest of the squad? Because you've got players that haven't played, that place of David Clapton that haven't played much. Is that their challenge? Well, I think that for me, the challenge is just that the team that gets picked every week stay in the team. <laughs> Not, don't don't put your position in, in jeopardy, you know, put the shirt on and, and go and perform to your best and go and get the results. So I, I can't change that team like I mean, I think there's with the fixtures that are coming up now uh, after New Year and Christmas, New Year, you, you, uh, you have to move and rotate your squad around. Now, now I prefer that the team only gets changed by injuries really or suspensions and the team that gets selected plays its very best and continues to get results which will make it difficult for me to change it and the rest of the lads have to be patient and wait then. Um, we saw the incident with um, uh, Schneiderlin in the last game and you mentioned that you would have a look at that. Have you had a chance to speak to him about it? Uh, I think that only briefly, I mean unfortunately Morgan was, was uh, had to go back t uh, to France because of a, a family problem which so he didn't actually travel to Dubai so you know since he's got back he's he's training with the rest of the lads like you mean and uh, and I think like every professional I think he'll accept that what he's got to do is is when he gets the opportunity to play he plays to his very best which we know is good enough to play in the Premier League because of his previous record he's had when he first arrived at Everton what he did at Southampton particularly so I think it's one of those that you've got to change people's opinion by performing to your best let your football do your talking yeah, Is it about confidence with him because last season he, you know, he had such a good season didn't he? Well, it's been thinking about confidence with everybody when when you lose football matches I think that uh, um, I think that when matches are lost on a regular basis confidence drains and criticism is fierce at this level and you've got to be able to take that criticism and fight your way through it and come out the other end. Uh, Injury-wise, you've got you know, Mori maybe coming back, Bowman, what's, what's the latest on that? And Mandala back in, I guess. 
Yeah, Mangala. Seamus, Seamus is looking like he may struggle for this this weekend as well. But Leighton Leighton Baines has been travelled uh, travelled and training with us on a regular basis, so there's an opportunity for him to come back into the squad. You know, so but our injury list has obviously been been reduced since since I arrived, which is which is one of the aims that you always try and do when you take a club over. Can you keep your players fit and and ready for action? And uh, and I think that. The squad is looking qu quite strong at the moment, and obviously selection process is down to me. And a new uh, sign signing of a new contract for Garner. How important is that for the club? Well, I think he's, he's signed it f for the future, and, and what he's done and what how he's performed. So this inside been here it's, it has been very very good indeed. Like I mean, so I think it's um, you know one that he's committed to, and and we look forward to his his long term future. And I think that hopefully he'll continue to grow and. Get even better than he is at this moment in time. And just finally for me, Watford. Um, other than the weather, are you expecting a bit of a frosty reception down there with everything that's gone on over the last few months since, since the last time actually we played here? Regarding? Just the, the whole thing with the Marco Silva thing. What about it? Well, just that you know there was some animosity, wasn't there, between the two clubs? And uh, well, I, I mean, that's nothing to do with us now. I think things have moved on from there and both. Both clubs are going to get on with what they want to get on, and both clubs want to have three points they want to try and achieve. I think what went on weeks and weeks ago certainly is, is long in the past, is water under the bridge, and everybody in football needs to look forward more rather than look in the past. But, I mean, from our point of view, trying to improve our away results, which have been not as bad as everybody thinks since I've been here, because... You know, I've won one, drawn two, and lost three. So, apart from the the Tottenham and the Arsenal game, which was obviously uh, one that you can't accept, uh, the improvement since I've been here away has been better for points than before. But for me, still not good enough, and we still want to improve on that. And they're a different side, aren't they, from the side that sort of the start of the season and flying there? It's not been the same recently. Everybody d does that spell. You know, like I said, everybody, if you listen to most managers throughout the Premier League, at probably the top six scores four or five games without a win. I mean, it's been happening to Burnley recently where they've gone, you know, and they they were fourth at one stage and have just got themselves still in a very good position. But, you know, there is a time when results don't quite go for you for one reason or another, and then you've got to fight your way through that period. Accept the criticism you get and move forward and get the victories under your belt. Like I mean, we've turned it around by winning the last last two home games. You know, I think that um, we've got seven points at the last four games, which turned it around a little bit. Not quite as good as we wanted, but we're trying to move forward and see where we can finish. We've eleven games to go, and uh, and the first thing is to secure our Premier League status. I think there's no doubt about that first, and then. How far can we go from there? And if we can improve our away results and continue our own results, I think we could look forward to looking up the way rather than down. So, how the Mangala injury? There's a lot of speculation that he's out for the rest of the season. Can you just? Uh, give us I think we're taking a second opinion on the, what what we what we have to try and achieve with uh, with Mangala. I think that um, you know it's it's a very uh, difficult thing to assess just how long it's going to take, whether it's going to be longer than first predicted or not. And I think that this early stage, while people put a lot of times on how, how quick you're going to recover, it can never actually really be the case. It cannot be a certainty that it can be eight weeks, 10 weeks or 12 weeks at this early stage. I think that you have to judge it week by week. Um, each person, as a different healing process, you know, some people take longer than others. You know, uh, Funus Murray would have been expected to have been fit a lot quicker than he is, but so and I don't think probably Seamus as well, but it wasn't to be. So I think at this early stage, we can't uh, or shouldn't really put a figure on it. Dean Davis could play his 50th Premier League game this weekend, age yeah. 19. You've been here for three months, I think, now. What's your assessment of his unfairness at this club? Well, we play more than anybody else. I think that's the best, the best assessment I can give. I think that a lot of that came around by the injuries to the the more senior players, which gave these 
opportunities for the younger players and the younger players grasping those opportunities. I think that uh, you know they've played a lot of minutes in the Premier League, which which will stand them in in really good stead for the future. And, and they've got to continue to get better, I think. But the the Tom Davises and the, the Mason Allgates and the Dominics, John Joe Kennys, even even Benny Beningham is in in our squad all the time. Like I mean, so. Those lads can force their way into the first team. Good luck to them. It's a very, very, very difficult league to establish yourself 21 and under. And those lads have been doing a fantastic job for themselves and their career and for Everton Football Club. And what's the, the benefit over the next 11 games? Yes, you can secure your Premier League place, but I just wonder in your experience for the summer, for next season, how important is it that you do have a strong team? Well, it sends everybody home happy, doesn't it? You know, and everybody looking forward to the next season. So, and I think that um, you know, when you when you finish strongly, you come back in with a, a greater expectation when the start of next pre-season. But I think there's a lot of um, there'll be a lot of planning for us to do once we we have secured our Premier League status, and a lot of talking behind the scenes on on the fact where 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 are we going to go from here. N not just like you know, in terms of what the first team squad is going to be, but how, the, how we progress all all of Everton Football Club to get better. I think he's playing again in the in the under 23s this week, um, and then and I think then he'll be ready and available for for selection. Like you I mean, I think that um, you know that long term injury. Takes a little bit of while for you to for you catch up. Some players take a little bit longer than others, like I said. So uh, there has been a little bit of caution on the odd occasion where he's had a, a day's rest rather than actually train again on the knee. So uh, we make sure we keep it fit. Okay, guys. Thank you.